what's up guys good morning it is wednesday june 15th and the sat scores have now come out for the may sat so unbeknownst to all you guys out there i actually signed up to take the may sat i thought it would be fun i was curious about the new version and what better way to really understand it and experience it other than to take it myself now i've seen a lot of videos of people doing these reveals where they stream it live essentially record live their reaction to their sat score so i thought it'd be fun to do that and record it of course i already went to college and all that so not as much as on is on the line for me but i'm actually still a little bit nervous and hoping that at a minimum i got a really good score on the math as i teach it as i should of course and I'm curious to see how it did on the verbal and the reading because I didn't prepare for those sections. I just kind of went in and winged it. But I feel like I did decently there too. So without further ado, I'm gonna be, you have my screen here as well that you can see. So let's do it. We're doing it live right now. And they should be up. It's 8.33 in the morning in, the, in California. Uh, so let's see, SAT scores. <laughs> I finished the math sections really, really fast. I think I finished, of course, as I should, I'm teaching this stuff all the time. So my math is substantially stronger than when I was in, in high school. Math was good in high school, but it's, it's better now, faster now. So. It's, yeah, but you never know. I could have made some silly mistakes and who knows what I got. Okay, so getting scores. Here we go. So I sign in. And I believe this is it. Let's see if that is the right one. Oh! All right, pretty sweet. Um, let's see. So I got I got a perfect on the math, which is pretty cool. Um, and I would have, honestly, it would have been a disappointment if I hadn't gotten an 800 on the math. So that's nice. But the 740, that's pretty cool uh, for verbal, just because I didn't get that high in high school. I think I got a. Let me try and remember. I think I got a 680 in high school. So this is a substantial jump. It's just more for fun. Um, let's see if we can view the details here. So let's see if they give me anything. So as I'm on track for college readiness. Wait, let's see. Does it give any breakdown of the verbal? My score range, 7, 10, okay, let's see here. 98th percentile. So I got 99th, 99th, but what is this? Nashi representative, your SAT user profile. Here we go. So this is what I got. So apparently, oh, I got some questions wrong on reading. I thought I actually got a perfect on the reading, um, but that is not the case. So I got three wrong on reading and I got four wrong on writing and language. That one I'm actually not surprised about because there, I, I actually ran a little short on time on the writing, uh, which, which I was surprised about, but I, I, guess I, got, um, I guess I got four wrong, so that's how that goes. And then, let's see. Words in context, commands of evidence. Standard English conventions. Okay. So yeah. So it looks like there's a little room for improvement in the reading and writing standpoint. But overall, that's it's cool for me. It's it's a big jump up. And the nice thing about that is, I think that's a good reflection of what should happen as you get older. I'm now 35, almost 36, and. Of course, I've read a ton. I went to law school. I worked as an attorney. So I've read a lot since my high school days. Apparently still not good enough to get a full perfect score, but it's, it's pretty cool. Anyways, 
Uh, that was fun. That was interesting for me. It's been a while since I've taken a standardized test. I guess the real message that I want to give to everybody out there who's signing up for the SAT or who wants to take it, or any standardized test really, is that the math in particular, you can see that I've spent time to understand the math, practice it, to get very familiar with it, and anybody can do this. In fact, when I took the SAT in high school, I didn't get a perfect score. I got close. I think I got a 770. but you can get an 800 just with practice. It's not this innate ability that you either have or you don't. It's not like that. So you can work to achieve whatever you're aiming for. And maybe I'll take it again, see if I can improve the, the verbal section. That would be a fun challenge for me. And see if I can get, get that up to a, a perfect score as well. So that's it. That's my score reveal. I got a 1540. And see you guys next time. Thanks.